In this box is the new PrimeWare from Primal Rights. This is gonna help us get an accurate reading on primer seating depth, and in this video, I'm gonna show it to you in depth. Gavin Gu here from ultimatereloader.com. Here on the channel, you've seen the competition primer seating system from Primal Rights. I use it for large and small back of my precision reloading room. In this video, we're gonna get the prime wear out of the box. We're gonna set it all up. We're gonna talk about the features. Then we'll use it and the competition primer seeder in tandem to make depth adjustments and then check those depth adjustments. So I'm gonna get this box open. We're gonna see what's inside. So I had a whole bunch of Primal Rights gear in that shipment from Primal Rights. Here's all of the stuff related to Primeware. So Primeware is available with an analog or a digital option. That's going to be the combination of the dial indicator and the body. The bodies have different lengths as you can see here. You order individual collars depending on the diameter of case rim ranges that you're going to need. The base is additional. So what I have here is essentially the analog kit plus the base plus a number of collars which you can order individually. And then over here we have the digital kit with a separately purchased base with separately purchased collars. Now this is where things get interesting. This is Primeware Poly. This is new. We're launching it as of this particular video. This is the first time anyone has seen this. This is a 3D printed budget kit that is going to work with particular dial indicators. I talked with Greg Dykstra from Primal Rights about this and there is evidently an eye gauging digital depth micrometer that is affordable that's going to work with this particular kit. So if you're on a budget, Primer Poly, and if you want maximum quality and longevity and accuracy, you're going to want either the analog or digital options. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get the analog set up put together and I'm going to get the digital setup put together. We'll take some measurements, we'll get out the competition primer seeder and see how we can dial in primer seeding depth using these tools. So I've got my 5 ths and my 3 32nds Allen key screwdrivers. These are the ball end type. Love these. And I've got the, the two sets of equipment here, kind of what you'd have out of the box. I'm going to get both of them set up and I'll talk about what those steps are. I will note that Primal Rights has an in-depth setup video for the Primeware. You're gonna to wanna to watch that if you wanna see every nuance and detail. Let's get to it. So primeware setup is really easy. Uh, I've got the base in both cases here. There's a single screw on the side that pulls a clamp together. And what you're gonna wanna do is put the base on its back. You're gonna wanna get the dial indicator centered within the clamp. The clamp slides in a track here, side to side, and then point the indicator needle true north, and then gently tighten that down. You can then turn the base up where it's in its vertical orientation like this. This is how we're going to use it. We then move on to getting the body installed at the proper height on the body of the dial indicator. These are 3 8 bodies on these. And on the digital unit, it's really easy. You're going to take one of your collars and then sort of push down on the needle. That's going to get it flush with the top of the body and hit the green button, which is on zero. That's going to zero out the indicator and on the analog indicator it's a little bit more complicated but not difficult at all. While pushing down on the body you're going to get one of these collars again and hold it like this and then loosen and tighten the set and screw until the needle is pointing 
almost vertical. You're going to want to get in the right travel range there, and every complete revolution of the needle is 100 thousandths of an inch. And then tighten it down, and then you've got this little clamp over here where you can rotate the whole dial to zero it perfectly, just like you would on a mill or a lathe or a precision measurement scenario in the machine shop. I will note that Primal Rights has an in-depth setup video where Greg goes over all of the nuance and detail of all of this stuff. So if you want all of the detail, go to that video, but it's basically as simple as I just showed you. Okay, so let's do a quick test. Let's do, I've got a few 6.5 Creedmoor hunting cartridges here. I'd like to check depth. And so what we're gonna wanna do is get the correct collar. This is a printout from the website. Number one, 223 REM case rim, number two, 308 case rim, number three, 300 PRC case rim, number four, 338 LM, number five, 375 CT, number six, six arc PPC, and number seven, 224 Valkyrie. So I'm actually gonna end up using most of these this coming year, because uh, I've got that. And then the options of analog or digital indicator, and then the indicator stand is separate. I'll, I'll note that there's collar storage here on the top, which is cool, I'll get that set up. Uh, when we get done with all of our tests and that kind of thing. Okay, so we're gonna take the number two and kind of place it on the top and give it a quick turn to lock it in place. And the vertical position of these collars is not super critical. These are for centering the case rim on the top of the body and making sure that the primer is properly located over the needle. Okay, so first cartridge is gonna be pretty close to zero, a little bit negative. That's probably not deep enough. Let's see what it says on the digital. Negative two ten thousandths of an inch. Okay, second cartridge. We're at, gotta get this. Negative two and change, basically. And over here, right negative two and a half thousandths approximately. Third cartridge, again negative two and something, I can't see it super good from this angle. <laughs> and we have negative 2.4 thousandths on the digital. So you can see the digital gives you more precision, uh, but if you wanna do these checks really quickly, one after another, it might be better to have the analog option because just like with a tachometer on your car's dashboard, it's a little easier to see things quickly and, and what's going on there. So digital and analog, uh, with the digital option, there is a, a way that you can have this mirrored on your phone display, I believe with Bluetooth. Uh, and Greg shows that in the Primal Rights setup video as well. So some good options there. Okay, so here's the game plan. I've got my small primer, competition primer cedar set up here. I keep one set up for large as well. I need to add some primers. I'm gonna do that with my Primafil from Double Alpha Academy. It works great with the, the Primal Rights branded tubes for the primers, red for small and black for large. I've got a Lapua Six Creed case here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a depth reading on the primer pocket. We're gonna get a height reading on one of these primers. And we're gonna figure out what our depth needs to be. I backed off the primer seating depth on this guy. So we're gonna use the prime wear and the adjustment wheel on the competition primer seater to get things optimized perfectly. Let's get to it. There we go. I never, and I mean never want to go back to stabbing primers on the primer flip tray. So what's cool about this guy is that you can take this little magnetic insert and flip it. There's large on one side and small on the other. It's uh, battery powered and it's affordable. So I've been using that a lot. In fact, pretty much for, for everything. Okay, so we drop here, good to go there. Now that we've got primers loaded, let's do our calculations to get optimal seating depth on the competition primer seater. I've got the six Creed Lapua case here. Let's get an initial reading on our primer pocket depth. So it looks like we're at 122.2 for that. And the next thing we need to do is get the height of our primer. So I'm gonna get one out of the competition primer seater. 
we're going to take off our collar and balance the primer on top of the needle. Now when we push down, we'll get the height of the primer, 117.9. Okay, so I'm going to do a little math and we'll get the depth needed to just bottom out in the primer pocket. So my math says if we're down 4.3 thousandths of an inch, that's one four thousandths plus three tenths, that's going to be where we're going to bottom out. So I think we could pick five thousandths deep as a good starting point and that gives us just a tiny bit of crush. So I'm going to put the very same primer back into the CPS. Let's seat this and see, see where we're at initially. So 2.6, so we might need to go, let's go a couple more clicks, see where that gets us. Each click is a thousandth of an inch of punch movement and based on spring back and other dynamics that won't necessarily translate to exact primer seating depth. So it looks like we're at negative 4.7 thousandths of an inch and that gives us just a little bit of crush. I'm going to call that a great result. So as you can see the primeware is a great tool for establishing primer pocket depth, for establishing primer height and then for validating your primer seating depth. And I personally feel like this would be a great tool to use with all of your ammunition. If you're going hunting, you want to make sure that those hand loads that you're using for hunting have properly seated primers. And if you're going to a match, the consistency of your primer seating depth can affect the accuracy. And you're going to want to make sure that everything is seated enough so that you don't have a light strike. That would be the worst thing to happen during a match. So kind of like when I've showed the annealing made perfect amp press and it's monitoring of bullet seating forces, this is another great quality check to make sure that your ammunition is absolutely top notch. Here's what I'd like to know is what do you think about the primer and the competition primer seater? Are you a super exacting hand loader and shooter? Tell me what you'd use this for and why you like it or if you have one, the kind of results that you've been getting. That concludes this video, and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you're interested in becoming a professional gunsmith, check out the Sonoran Desert Institute. They've got a degree program, they've got a certificate program, and you can study from home. Learn more at sdi.edu. Thanks again for watching.